What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome to how to be ultimate difficulty on squad battles. I apologise for my voice sounding a little bit hoarse, I'm a little under the weather today, got a bit of a bunged up nose and a little bit of a cough. But today guys, I am going to give you um, <clears throat> basically a first look at how I play squad battles on ultimate difficulty, how best to utilise your team against the uh, ultimate squad battles. You can see right now, I'm currently 66th in the world with 38 minutes before the next refresh. And that's me with, or I'm 67th now, that's me with four games in hand. I've got 106,000 points in just 37 games. And I've, I've been getting about, on average, I mean, I don't know what the actual average points are, but about 3,000 points per game on average. And today, um, I'm going to show you the differences I've made in my game based off of playing ultimate throughout this week and what I've learned to do it, so uh, I'm not going to do it on one of these easy squads either, um, because I want to show you guys that the squad difficulty, uh, the squad rating, the chemistry, it just doesn't matter. So I'm going to take the most difficult team here. We are going to, of course, go into ultimate difficulty. Now my team is pretty good, guys, um, but as long as you've got like a competent squad, it doesn't make that much of a difference. You don't need a super super team. You don't need full icons and the best players in FIFA. As long as you've got like a good well-rounded, well-balanced team, which a lot of people have at this stage in FIFA, you're going to be absolutely fine to play on Ultimate. I played on Ultimate difficulty against the featured squad on my pack-only Road to Glory, and that was with a squad that has... Um, can we get the red kit? There we go. That was with a squad that has no chemistry, bad players, like, you know, low rated, etc., etc. And I only lost 2 nil in that area. So as long as you've got a competent squad, like a squad like you see on the screen now, something like that would be more than good enough to be the AI on ultimate difficulty. Now on legendary, I focused in the video on showing you guys how to beat the AI, but also how to manipulate it into maximum points on ultimate. It's the same in terms of points and how to get them. Uh, if you look at the match facts, uh, five goals, 10 shots on target, 60% possession, as many tackles as you can get, no fouls, no cards, no offsides, and 10 corners. That's what you want to go for. Also, you want to go for 80% pass accuracy. But Ultimate is such a tricky um, a tricky scenario that, more importantly, you just want to focus on those five goals. And it doesn't even matter to keep a clean sheet. Now, I switch into the 4 one narrow because that's just the formation I play. Uh, I set my um, players as you've just seen there, and then I set my squad up as follows. Now, normally in-game... Uh, online, I will switch Patrick Vieira to CDM. In the squad battles, I keep Patrick Vieira as a centre mid because he's so big, he just bosses that midfield. So this is the team that I set up against the AI on squad battles. And in terms of the controllers, I do use legacy defending, not tactical defending. There are, there are pros and cons for both legacy and tactical. Uh, I personally prefer Legacy because it's the way I used to defend in old FIFA, so I'm, new, I'm actually like more skilled at defending in Legacy defending. Um, but I know a lot of the dudes that are in the top 100 and that play on Ultimate Difficulty uh, use tactical defending. I also go defensive from kickoff. Um, it's just a, a personal preference there, and you, you can kind of do what you want. Now, the biggest tip that I can give... Uh, the, the, the way that legendary, sorry, the way that ultimate AI works is that it's split into two halves of football. The, obviously, the first half and the second half. And in the first half, all you really want to do is focus on not conceding a goal. And that's literally it. Just focus on not conceding or <clears throat> not lo not being down by an uncontrollable amount by the, the half-time mark, right? If I, if I concede one or two goals, it's not, not the biggest issue in the world. If I can see three goals, it might be a problem. Um, but yeah, so the first thing you want to do is take the first half seriously in terms of possession play and just not giving up easy possession to the AI. So you want to make sure your passes are, are complete. You want to make sure you're facing the way you're trying to aim your pass so you don't give up simple possession of the ball. And one of the greatest ways to get chances against the ultimate AI in the first half is by just moving the ball from left to right and then back from right to left and dragging their players out of position. You'll notice here, they all follow me up. I actually missed the pass there. If I could have got that ball to Vieira, I would have had a chance to... Ooh, I know it could be on there. I'm not going to make that pass, actually. I'll just be giving the ball away. Eventually, as you'll see here, if, uh, if Alexandra wants to make the run, you'll get into some space, and now you've got options. I'm actually going to try and cross it in, and we've got ourselves a corner. So, nice little way to get... A few points there, a few extra points. Now, I do play my short corner short against this one, and then I just whip it into the far post and hope that I'm the one that gets a header. Sometimes I score those, sometimes I don't. 
But uh, I found that if I actually go straight, if I whip the corner in, I never ever win the header. So Henri is going to get back there in time and we've got possession of the ball again. So like I say, the, the, the main aim is, you know, to get the sort of points that you need as if you beat Legendary 5-0, you either just need to score four goals and conceding is fine or winning 3-0 and that's fine as well that that will give you around the 2800 uh, coin mark that might be a goal Ooh, good save from the keeper um that might be enough now um if you can score five goals you'll get 3000 points no matter what really sometimes 3100 points as well and as, as i say if you can get to 4-1 4-1 is enough of a scoreline to get you like 28 maybe 27 points 2700 points depending on where you go and there we go We've worked it all the way to the edge all the way to the side. And that might be a goal again. No, Goretzka's going to win the header though. Yes, it's going to find its way to Joshua Kimmich. I've got Ronaldo in there. He might be offside. He was an offside. Damn it. I, I kind of slowed down a little bit there because I thought he might have been offside. Um, so yeah, th there's, you know, get, getting to three goals, 3-0 uh, or 4-1 will give you similar points to Legendary 5-0. And of course, Legendary 5-0 is not easy. You can quite easily mess up on Legendary as well. So just getting that kind of uh, total on Ultimate Difficulty is a lot easier once you master it than getting um, that kind of total on Legendary because of how easily the AI can can curse you, essentially, and, and you know just score that random Thunderbolt that you're like, okay, where did that come from? That's a bad pass. That, is, that was a mistake of a pass. But you'll notice here, I don't really give up much possession uh, against the AI. I, I win the ball back nice and quickly because I'm super aggressive and the reason why I sit defensive is because it stops the AI from just being able to play through balls all the way through me which is one of the strongest ways for them to score and you'll see when I'm playing the possession game I'm not rushing. That's one of the biggest things. Just don't rush especially not in the first half as I say. The first half is a half of football where you're more intent on just not conceding than scoring. The goals will come and you might have to take it to extra time but the goals will come. That might be the foot. That's that low driven bug. Yeah, you might have to take it to extra time. I take plenty of games to extra time on um, ultimate difficulty. And yeah, sure, it, it takes a little bit longer than just playing in the 90th minute. But if you want those points, you know, you've you got to do what you got to do. So first half again, just play it slow. Now, I'm not guaranteeing either that I'm going to win this game. And I'm not guaranteeing that I'm going to win this game by four goals or five goals. But over time, as, you know, you'll, you'll develop a, a level of consistency that you're used to. That should be a goal. There we go. The first goal is there from Rui Costa. Um, over time, you'll just develop a level of consistency uh, that you'll get used to how it plays and you'll be able to manipulate it into your favour so much better. But one of the other reasons why I'm showing this is because there's, there's a lot of rumours about another exploit being in Ultimate Difficulty. You know, the guy that was finishing number one on PlayStation every single week, the huge gorilla guy, not to be confused with, uh, you know, like Unilad Gorilla. Uh, it's just a namesake or a fanboy. Uh, he was using the red card exploit. Now, there is another exploit in um, Ultimate Squad Battles. Uh, and it also is, is to do with manipulating the AI into giving away fouls and free kicks and then using that to your advantage. I'm not going to show how it's done. EA are aware of it and uh, I hope it gets fixed at, like ASAP because I'm, I'm pretty certain there's two, two of the dudes right now that are atop the PlayStation leaderboards. They're using it. So, you know, if, if, they, if they lose the, the method that they're using... I'm more than happy with that. Um, but yeah, so I wanted to show people because, uh, you know, obviously I'm, I'm a, a, a figure in the FIFA world. I get that. And, and there's a lot of people on Twitter and on forums and on Reddit that are accusing me of cheating and, and holding a cheat to myself and keeping or an exploit, and, you know, keeping an exploit to myself. And I just want to show them and, and you guys at home that, hey, you don't have to cheat to be ultimate. You've just you literally just have to learn it and master it. And as I say, the, the, the way that I mastered it, the way that I learned it was thanks to my man Steve-O, who finishes very, very highly, usually number one on Xbox. Um, he taught me a lot about how the AI works specifically in the second half. And uh, he basically said that in the second half, the AI acts quite a lot like it's legendary. So fake shots fool it a lot. And uh, it just makes it ridiculously easy at that point to go and get that pass off. That could be a goal. Oh, the goalkeeper was on the floor as well. That block was so, so important for the AI. But yeah, the second half is where you're going to score the majority of your goals because the AI just reacts differently to fake shots. It falls for skill moves a little bit more. And in general, you just have a much better time of it. I might concede here. This is, ooh, that's a good tackle from Kimmich. Um, so I worked on that a lot. And, I, and I, as I say, I, sp I spent a lot of my time in games just figuring out how not to concede 
in the first half. Just just learning how best to utilise the possession of the ball, to hold on to the possession of the ball, to limit the AI to as few chances as I possibly could get it. And through doing that, through just spending the first 45 minutes of every game you know, playing a really passive defensive game, I actually ended up starting to score two or three goals because it changed the way I played FIFA. I started playing a much more um, intricate game. I started spotting pass avenues I never spotted before and it allowed me to create chances. So you see here, <coughs> the first half, this is against the best team on the best difficulty. I've had 70% possession. I've limited them to one shot from the halfway line, apparently. Um, I've had six shots, five on target and we're in a good spot. Now, the second half is important because not only is this the half that you expected to get the most goals, but if you don't get the goals that you personally require, so I would like to always go for four goals as a minimum uh, in a game. If I don't get four goals, I will take the game to extra time. So you also have to be very vigilant with how you use and utilize your substitutes in the second half. If you're in a comfortable position and the AI goes like very, very attacking against you, use your subs as soon as possible because you like it will be helpful and once we get to that point i'll show you um if you're not in a comfortable position like right now i'm one nil up if i'm still one nil up in like the 70th minute or the 75th minute i won't use my subs until i take the game to extra time and yeah i will personally take the game to extra time from time to time uh, as i say you know it's, it's just better in terms of uh being able to get more points essentially so here we are with ronaldo got patrick vieira here in a bit of space I'm finding some space here. This might turn into a goal. Rui Costa. Oh, is that a corner? No, that one's just gone wide. That's unfortunate. If that was a better finish through the ball, if that was Cristiano Ronaldo, it might have gone in the back of the net. But I'm, I'm generally dominating this game, guys. And you can see I'm not using any exploits or at least any... I am using exploits in a sense because like the fake shot is an exploit, the low driven is an exploit, but I'm not using any like, oh, look at him. He's having to you know cheat the AI in this way or that way. I'm, I'm literally just playing my game. That might be a goal there. There we go. Just playing my game. And we get ourselves our second goal. Rui Costa again. He's had a couple of chances for me uh, already to this point. He eventually gets that second goal. Now 2-0 in the 55th minute. By the time the 65th to 75th minute comes, that's when it's going to get interesting. Because I'll likely concede. And the reason why I'll likely concede is because when the AI goes ultra attacking or all out attack, it becomes really difficult to stop them. You, you, you have to kind of rely on the AI to make the wrong decisions, essentially. Uh, otherwise you're going to end up conceding a goal. You know, like right there, I, I felt like that was a wrong decision. Like the AI could quite easily have just turned inside and had a shot. Um, also, fouling the AI, as crazy as this sounds, fouling the AI in attacking positions is always a good thing to do because they never score the free kicks. Watch them actually score this one. No, see, they never score the free kick. So if they're clean through and you're not going to get a red card for your tackle, it is always worth just fouling them, pulling them off the ball, bringing them down one way or another, always worth it um that's a nice play that is should be able to create a chance off of this oh too many fake shots i actually had the defender beat to rights there i just uh i made the wrong decision at the end i should have just turned inside and gone for the finesse shot i should be able to pick this ball up here yeah there we go nice uh, nice play from the defender and uh once um once the ai go on Henri. once the ai goes ultra attacking it's really easy to score against one ultimate. You know, like I said, the first half is more about staying in the game because that's when the AI is at their most deadly. They're super difficult to play against. You know, they're, 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 they sit deep. They don't really try and score unless they have comfortable possession. They play counter-attacking football. And just generally speaking, they don't fall for fake shots or, you know, they don't fall for... Um, they don't fall for skill moves and they don't fall for one twos or anything like that. You know, they, they read the game really, really easily. In the second half, that all changes. I don't know why it changes. I don't know why EA have, have set it up to, to be like that, but that's how it is. So it is very possible, not even very possible. It's actually relatively easy once you, once you learn it. It's very easy to continuously beat the AI on ultimate. As I say, the only thing that you won't get, what you get in Legendary is, you know, you, you expect to not concede on Legendary. You expect to develop those corners to get 10 corners. You expect to just take easy shots to get 10 shots on target. That's what you expect out of Legendary. You expect to be able to manipulate the points really, really highly in your favour. On Ultimate Difficulty, you don't, you don't do that. On Ultimate Difficulty, you are absolutely trying to just get those five goals 
and if a clean sheet comes along the way then so be it but more often than not that clean sheet won't come along the way Ooh, see what i mean with those crosses by the way i always try that i score so many goals from that method goretzka there got up big for the header unfortunately didn't uh didn't direct it into the back of the net that's good defending all right come on let's get the uh, defender out so now we're in the 72nd minute now i'm in a now i'm in a spot where i actually gonna want to make subs right unless they score here then i won't make subs so now I'm going to want to make subs. And the reason why I'm going to want to make subs now is because the AI is going to go all out attack and I've got some tired bodies on. So Kimmich is going to come off and we're going to bring on Jefferson Farfan and we're going to just put some, inject some pace into my cam spot. And Henri, as much as I love him so much, I don't bring him off, but it would be wise to bring him off. But we're going to take on Alessandrini. So I'm going to save one sub for the last 10 or so minutes just because I don't know, again, I don't know if I'm going to have to take this game to extra time or not. And I don't know also if... Um, if I'm going to want to bring on a tall powerhouse to, to defend corners to get counters, or if I'm going to bring on a pace merchant to try and just break down the uh, the AI's the AI's pace. Now, I don't mind having Henri in the uh, middle of the park either. We should uh, should be able to get a chance here. Ah, uh, it might have been offside there. That was just a poor pass on my behalf. I didn't need to make that pass. That's a great ball. That's a cra that's one of those crazy balls that the AI plays, man. You you got you you learn to you learn to just accept those. You learn to accept those balls that you couldn't even ever possibly see. But we've got 10 minutes to go here, guys. I, I would expect myself to be able to get the fourth goal because uh, the AI will go all out ultra attacking. But if I haven't got the fourth goal by like the 86th or 87th minute, um, <clears throat> I will instead I will instead go for own goals, take it to 3-3 and take it to extra time. And it might, might be silly. I actually took a game yesterday. I was 3-1 up in the 86th minute and I took it to extra time and I actually lost the game. So I've lost two games on ultimate so far this week and i'm still in contention for an easy top 10 right yeah hey ref is that not foul uh yeah i'm still in contention for an easy top 10 and so it just goes to show again like the the sheer volume of points that you get from ultimate difficulty is massive in terms of oh look how wide these gone go on in go through there we go oh i couldn't get that to alessandrini if i did it was Henri was clean through there alessandrini gets the ball again though far fan Ronaldo, oh, just I can't get this. Uh, can't get this fourth goal. I might, I might, if I don't score off my next attack, <clears throat> or if they score right here, I'll take this to extra time, just to get the. Uh, like I say, I would rather a five. Um, I would rather a five goal game. Go on, Henri. Oh, Ronaldo. Go on, Ronaldo. There we go. We got. We squeezed it in. I would rather win five three than 3-0. So 3-0 would get me somewhere around 27 to 2800 points and 5-3 would get me around 3000 points. So it would just be a little bit better or 6-3 or 7-3 or whatever. But fortunately we've got the 4-0 now. <clears throat> so even if I concede, I'll still get 2800, maybe 2900 points. Uh if I can nick the if I can nick the fifth goal, that would be great. I'll get like 33 to 3400 and if it remains 4-0, I'll get like 30 3100 maybe, <clears throat> something like that. But you'll see now that AI is going to go all out attack. It's going to be ridiculously easy to break them down. It just mat matters whether or not I can steal the ball here. Go on, boys. <clears throat> I haven't managed to steal it. So I probably won't get another chance now because the full-time whistle is going to go. Oh, oh, Rui Costa. There you go. Full-time whistle is gone. But that was the most difficult team on the, on the, on the uh, set. <clears throat> Excuse me. We managed to get a really comfortable 4-0. I generated a fair few corners, a lot of tackles, four goals, a clean sheet. We end up getting 453 points. So I should get what I think is about 3,100 points off the back of that. You know, we had 58% possession, <clears throat> which is great. Three corners, 10 tackles, nine shots on target, and just generally played a great game. And we get 31-23. And that, guys, is how you beat ultimate difficulty on AI. And that puts me now where I'm 70th, I think, because the... I oh, know. Wait, I've got, it hasn't added a point yet. That puts me up to one hundred and nine thousand points now, which actually puts me. Where does that put me? That puts me <clears throat> here. So that puts me thirty first with three games to spare, and only only a few points out. Like top ten is obviously the aim that I want. I can't get first because the guy who's first is actually a pro player and he's just smashing it. But top ten for me is one hundred and eleven thousand points. So I'm only two hundred two thousand or so points behind top ten. And I've got three games to spare. So even if I wanted, if I wanted to guarantee top ten, I could just play the rest of my games on legendary, get twenty three to twenty eight hundred points per game, and I'd be guaranteed top ten. But I'm going to play all my games on um, on ultimate. And 
I think I will finish second or third this week. This guy who's number one, like I say, he's a, I think he's a bronze B pro player. Uh, he's just smashing it. He's playing ultimate. Uh, he's playing um, uh, foot champs as well. He was seventeen and zero on Friday, so he's obviously having a great time. But yeah, I, I will finish in this region here. It depends on how well I play my last seven games. So we've got three more games out of this set to play and then four more in the final set. If I don't need to play them all, if I finish top 10 without playing them all, then so be it. Um, but uh, that, guys, is how you beat Ultimate Difficulty on uh, Squad Battles. I picked the hardest team there. I obviously picked Legendary, uh, sorry, Ultimate Difficulty, hence the 3 1 2 3 points. And I showed you guys how I personally. Um, learn how to beat the ultimate difficulty, I suggest you guys give it a try. You know, there's no harm in it. And, and just for the record, playing on this first one or the second one or third one, it's all the same because the AI gets boosted to 99 rated, right? So it comes down to the differences will be felt in the um, formation. So we've got 4 one 2 one, two here. Uh, we've got a 4 4 one, one here. And we've got a 4 one, two, one, two here. So this this game here, the number that a more FC might feel far more challenging than the first or the third game because he's got a different formation or <coughs> excuse me might feel far more challenging because this team is balanced attack and defense balanced attack and defense crossing and balanced defense so this team has it focuses on crossing so you might end up conceding some goals to this team via crosses and you'll be like well these two teams were easier so why is this one so much harder and it could just be due, due to custom tactics or formation but generally speaking they all get boosted to 99. So there's no difference in the low rated team versus the high rated team, etc, etc. Which is why I went and specifically picked the hardest team here today. Just to show you that it can still be done whilst recording and making a video and not even giving my full attention. I absolutely slaughtered it. I wasn't able to get that fifth goal. But generally speaking, I picked up a healthy amount of points. And that is going to signal the end of the video. So thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And I'll see you next time. I'm out. Peace.